Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. We're so grateful for this Satisfaction Saturday in the midst of all of the week's activities that have always been so full. We thank God that he brings us to a moment that we have come to the end of this week and we can tell him thank you for all that he has done. Today, I invite you to look with me at Matthew's Gospel, the 21st chapter, verses 23 through 32 how they challenge the authority of Jesus. Jesus is now on his way to the temple and he's teaching. The leading priests have come up and they ask him about what authority do you think you have to do the things that you are doing? He says, I'll tell you about what authority I do this. But let me ask you one question. Did John's authority to baptize come from heaven? Which is merely human. Or where did it come from? They began to question among themselves and they said, uh, we don't know. And Jesus said, well, if you won't tell me about what authority you do these things, I won't tell you about what authority I do these things. This text begins to remind us that Jesus authority was challenged because they didn't know where did he get this power? Well, you know, we sing this song power belongs to God. Well, the power does belong to God and God allowed his power to be transferred. He allowed his power to come to earth in the manifestation of his son, Jesus, who does something that is so powerful. He has the power to change things. He has the power to heal. He has the power to teach with such authority that it makes a difference in people's lives. You know, when we ever hear about the power and the authority of God, we can understand this little parable that follows it. It talks about a man who has two sons. One of them says, uh, I'll go out and work in the vineyard. He says, no, but later on he goes on. Then the other son says, yes, but he never goes out there. So which of these obeyed the father? You know, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Uh, the tax collectors and the prostitutes will get in heaven uh, and the kingdom of God before many of you do. Jesus asked us, what are we doing? We say no, and then we do it. We say yes, and then we don't do it. He begins to ask all of us the question, by what authority do we have to be able to say yes or no to God? You know, God gives us the authority to do the things, but we have to be willing to surrender and to submit. You know, the parable is a earthly story that has a heavenly meaning. There's so many of us that we say yes to God, but we don't do what he's asked us to do. There are those of us who say no, but it's through and by the power and the supernatural move of God, we become changed. And God does a great work in us. Today, I hope that God can do a great work in you as he's trying to do a great work in us all. Always know that you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed and God has a great blessing in store for you. We invite you to join us to have a great blessing on tomorrow morning at the fountain. We'll have our virtual service at seven o'clock a.m. and our in-person service at nine o'clock a.m. It is there you can come and experience the presence and the move of Almighty God where you can walk away saying, truly the presence of the Lord is in this place and I have been blessed. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.